have all they've lost me. They've already lost me. The story. It's too complicated. I'm secretly mine. Hello and welcome to Grand Pigeon's Duty. I have absolutely no idea what to expect here, but I will read the description or the plotline, I guess, of the game, which I found on Steam. In the near future, people decided to abandon human organs and replace them with innovative petrol implants that allow to prolong life. Almost all food businesses were ruined or converted into refueling. Due to lack of organic food, pets were on the verge of extinction. Worst of all had birds that were unable to adapt to new conditions of life without human food. Pigeons organized resistance, which aims to attract people's attention to the problem of hunger and restore bakery companies for their bait. Pigeon John decides to help urban birds with his unusual disease of the digestive system. As I said, still no idea what to expect. <laughs> but it sounds interesting, so we're gonna give it a go. And it's about pigeons. Uh, there's not much in terms of settings. Um, full screen windowed mode, English or Russian. This is a Russian developer, so the English translations might be a bit off, but that's fine. Makes it just more entertaining. Uh, audio sliders and that, and just audio for music, I guess, so that's fine. We're gonna head into a new game. Okay, is this Pigeon John? No, I am Pigeon John, probably. Welcome, John. We heard about your extraordinary abilities, which is why we sent for you. For you coherent. Okay. Next. Assistant told me that you think it's super fast bowel disease. Super fast bowel disease? <laughs> now we desperately need your help. Of course you can refuse, just coming out of this game. But then we lost hundreds of thousands of birds. If you're willing to stay, then just keep listening to me. I'm staying. Excellent. Our headquarters started work a few weeks ago. We've been waiting for you, but first you must pass the training. So we're heading into tutorial then, I guess. The trainings will take place in sparsely populated areas. Your goals will be static. So much strain is not necessary. So, let us turn to a brief digression. Digression. See that car? No. There might be something behind there. Uh, you need to attack this goal three times. To fly, press left to... Okay, to fly right, right. Drop the shells, are we bombing this car? By pressing space, we don't want to overfeed you because it's just training. Now start training. Okay, where am I? Hello? No, oh! Uh, oh, okay. Oh yeah! I missed! <laughs> car boom. Oh, I'm so bad at this. I keep thinking it's gonna drop straight down. You win! Fantastic. This is gonna be difficult with moving targets. You have successfully completed your the training, which your skill needs to develop. Let's move on to the next stage of training. Okay. <gasps> Double cards. Three cards with limited ammo. Right to something I, I skipped before I finished reading. Irvin will explain to you why we do it. He's familiar with the human psyche, so you should listen to him. Oh, is that Irvin? <laughs> uh oh, cool. You just arrived. The birds are always talking about you as the winner. Society will hate you if you screw up. But now I wanted to talk to you. You need to attack two cars three times to give people food for thought. They don't have to take it for a coincidence, understand? Okay, in any case, just do it. Listen to me and something I clicked again! 
Yes! Did it! <laughs> Why isn't my bird wearing clothes? I did not expect this. Well, good result. I praise you. Will you attack the cars? The bad news game. Hello, John. My name is Frank. I'm here from the base of the bird's front. My job is to study weather conditions and the economy. Now, I need to inform you that the hurricane or oh, hurricane is coming. No, it's not terrible for the bird flying, but now your cells will blow will blow the wind. Who knows where they will fall? As each sample has its own weight. But before each flight we we will know the wind direction. I hope you will quickly get used to these weather conditions. I persuaded the commander to give you lunches for a larger supply of ammunition. We believe in you, John. Remind people that they are not alone on this planet. Good luck. Thank you. And we have weather. Oh! Ha! Smack. And there. <laughs> oh, so close. Ha! No, no, no. Um. Okay. I guess uh, it's not all that different. I missed! <laughs> I was just about to say. It was quite easy. And I lost. R. Let's restart. I feel like the wind is uh, it's quite inconsistent there. There we go. And about there, maybe. Yes. Again. One more hit and we got this. That should be it. Fantastic. <laughs> I like the result. You're very good adapted to the changing wind. The job is done, that's good. If you still need if you still have the strength, we proceed to the last but difficult exercise. How does this guy cool? Cool. You need to hit each car twice. This is your last practice before going to the people. Today and in the coming days you won't have a surplus. One mistake, one awkward step will ruin our message to the people. People are not stupid. Well, they are always looking for meaning in everything, even if it is not. Well, that kind of makes them stupid. For this reason, it is important that all the details of our messages were clear for, for them <laughs> and should not cause doubts. Now, let's go. Okay, am I... What's the difference here then? We're still hitting cars, so... Snake. No, I've lost this. <laughs> you lose! I still lose! I... Wow. The difficulty level of this escalated really quickly. I now need to hit every shot to win this. If I, if I miss even once, I have to restart. Ow! <laughs> There we go! That was the first real level, wasn't it? You coped with the wind and not made mistakes. Fine, soldier. I know that Irwin explained the importance. We're counting on you. It's time to start. N now it's time to start! Okay. So, John, this is your first outing. You know how you avoided the illness, but now... It and your accuracy are vital to us. Yet, you do not hurry. There is one thing I should say. Any actions sponsored from the outside, both military and civilians, us investing birds bank of bread. Have all... have lost me. They've already lost me. The story. It's too complicated!
This bank is almost the last repository of bread. Last week the bank management was greatly reduced to rations. They agreed to increase the admission if before the first flight you're meeting their representative. Here he is, suspicious type, suspicious type, be careful, John. Alright. This bird looks a lot like John Travolta's character in, in um, Pulp Fiction. My name's Nick, I, I represent the bird bank of bread. My boss found out. My boss found out that if you join the resistance, if your commander wants the deliverance, deliveries, we're resumed. Will have to reckon with us. The bank will draw conclusions on the results of today's action. Then I will get back to you with a request. I wish you luck. He talked about his return. That's what I thought. The bank wants to make your actions profitable. Well, do what they say. What is this story? You got us distracted. You need to hit six times. In the car and six times in the people for 14 attacks. You've had enough food. Good luck, soldier. <laughs> With the uh, the English and the everything here, it's I already missed one. How am I supposed to hit these people? Though? It's just gonna be lucky lucky shots, I guess, if I actually hit people. The problem as well is, yes, I do hit the people, but what if I, I want to hit the car? Oh shit, did I lose? I might have lost there. I need to hit the car twice, come on, no, that's a loss, yeah, okay now I have to hit people six times, one, Oh shit, that was bad. What? What did I hit? Did I hit something? Wow. Oh. There we go. No! I thought I was gonna hit there. No! I have to wait for a cluster of people. Because it doesn't seem like there's a time limit or anything. There we go. It should be good. Yes. And there we go. No! Oh, that was so close! Fantastic! Two more, the last two have to be hits! Damn it! And I moved my camera. Because you see the human hit counter in the top right. Okay, it hit one humans. Hit another, that's good because I was gonna miss the car. Ah, uh, okay. Now we've almost hit all the. Hu oh no! I actually cannot hit more humans now. Oh, I can hit both human and car. Okay, that's, that's good. I should be able to uh, finish the level now then. Fantastic. And I have more than enough ammo left to hit this car twice. Great! Even with ammunition spare. <laughs> what a flying, John. What a flying indeed. That's great. You exceeded all expectations. You, did you notice how many times I failed there, Mr. Travolta? Okay, we'll talk about it later. How's your sex life? What? I don't know why I asked that. Sorry, John. I was just trying to keep the conversation going. Sounds strange, okay? I'll tell the boss about your results. Goodbye. Finally, he's gone. Good job, John. I'll report on the results of the action. Okay. So, next level. Bad news, John. People absolutely did not react to our attack. What? We're just pigeons pooping on people. Irvin says that we are doing everything wrong. 
so we need to increase the scale for a good result. He offers to give you a ration of 50 shells. It will hurt us. So this is not an option. I believe that we will achieve the attention of people after a gradual increase. So today, we just increase the number of hits on targets, but don't spend a lot of, on bread. Of bread. 12 people, 3 times on each car. For these purposes, we will issue you a ration of 24 shells. Good luck, blah blah blah. Okay. Holy snap, how many people did I have to hit? 12? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can hit both people and car. I was lucky previously, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Did I already mess up too much? Or... I don't know. Do the cars actually break when I'm doing this? What's in the poop? It does call them shells and they do look like bombs, but nothing's exploding. The cars do turn black, but that's about it. Did I have to hit 12 people? Can I even do... Yes, if I hit every shot. Okay. I need to do some double hits. What? You need to hit both car and thing. No. Did I shoot? Oh, I've lost. I'm all ready. Yes! <laughs> I think I think that's it for now. Um, I think all of us have understood what the game is all about. I'm tempted to keep playing this to see where the story goes. Because it, it, it seems like that's where the real meat of the game lies. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.